yeah, you must be really looking forward to the Europeans now. It's come around quite quickly, has it, from after qualification? I think definitely. I mean, especially since the first time in, I think, 15 years around that that we've been there. So it's a fantastic achievement. I can't believe, actually, it's now here when suddenly, I think, before Christmas, you sort of think, oh, we've still got quite a few weeks and now we're sort of flying on uh, Thursday morning out to Germany for a training camp. So it's definitely come quickly, but I think we're all ready for it. We did a lot of hard training September till December. Worked so hard and you think, oh my goodness, how am I going to get through this? And then after we had a bit of a recovery week over Christmas with just like bits of training away from here. And I think all of us now are just ready and really want to go and see what it's like. Yeah. Um, when the new year turned and all of a sudden it was 2012, I mean, <laughs> was that an exciting moment, realising that you were in this big year? I think exciting and scary at the same time. I think I'm just going to take every day as a normal day, forget about the year, apart from when I'm to write in my diary, and then just see what happens. Because I think if you think about it too much and get carried away, you could be completely crazy and sort of be sorted with the 2012 idea. So I just definitely go one day at a time. But New Year's Eve was great and it was really exciting. I'm like, yay, 2012's here. It's time to show everyone sort of all the hard work that we've done. But in another way, we've still got another eight months of doing a lot of hard work, which hopefully will just get us sort of to the right, um, right place in our game, ready for the Olympics. In some ways then, is it good to have Europeans and then obviously you've got World League qualifiers as well? To, so you don't get too like, focused on London 2012, it's not kind of occupying your mind all the time because yeah. you've got these other goals. I totally agree, I think, that's, I think that's a really good way of looking at it, that we've sort of got European Championships now, which is a lot of hard games at the start of the year, which is brilliant. To also see where we're at as well. We're not obviously expecting to win the Europeans, but we want to be competitive, play well, and you never know what happens and have some really good matches. And then obviously a bit more of downtime, we've got a few training camps, then we've got World League. And like you say, it's all just little stepping stones building towards uh, the Olympics in July. Okay. Um, talking specifically about the Europeans, yeah. what do you expect from each of the teams? Are you going to be preparing differently for each match or how are you approaching it? I think all of them will be tough, so regardless it's going to be a tough, hard game for whoever we're playing. I think they're all sort of different, so the Hungarians are quite a bit bigger and heavier. The Russians are very sort of fast and very sort of um, don't make many mistakes. Uh, and the Dutch sort of have got quite a few really strong, good players, and then the rest are sort of like good players. So they're sort of, it's going to be quite a mix and different ways of playing, but we're doing quite a lot of video analysis and, you know, looking at the teams and sort of, and also knowing what we can do well and remembering that even if they're strong in this aspect, we've got other strong elements to our team. So it's sort of, you know, just being clever with your playing and making sure you're using the right tactics against the right team. Um, do you, any of the team worry that you might get a little bit overwhelmed being that you're competing at this tournament for the first time in 15 years or are you out there to do a professional job and it's not going to come into it? I think from definitely my own point of view, it's just sort of another tournament. It just happens that, you know, we get an extra day's rest between games, so to be honest, it's quite nice. I think it is brilliant, but again, sort of like we're saying about the Olympics, we're just going to be there. It's just a different tournament. We're in Holland, you know, we've played there before. Anyway, not want to sort of to take the excitement away from it being the European A's, but we all love playing water polo, so to be, to be honest, it's just going to be another sort of four or five games for us out in Holland, and hopefully at the end we'll get some, like, European ranking from it. Um, obviously, it's been a gradual progression over the past two, three, maybe more years, but have there, I mean, what have been the biggest stepping stones, in, in your opinion, in that progression? Where, um, where from the, the team point of view? Yeah, where you've really taken a step up in confidence and in... Like, the first thing that we achieved with Sylvester was getting our fitness and our stamina up there. I think before we were sort of like average, whereas now I'd say we're one of the fittest teams probably in the world and we can keep going and we're fast and everyone can move well and things like that. So that was the first big change. I think now it's more sort of like tactical, so we've got different tactics, we can change systems really well. Whereas before, say, we're a bit slower to react to different situations in the game, I think we're a lot quicker now. So that's a massive one. It might not sound so much, but obviously if the opposition changes the tactics, we can react really quickly rather than having to wait for a timeout or the coach to say so. I think we're good at that now. But I think the fitness one has been a massive thing because you can do so much more when you're still fit and uh, have energy in the fourth quarter then you can still play at that top level, whereas as before we used to probably lose it a bit quicker. So for me that's the biggest, but I think every day it's sort of something else, sort of chipping away at something else, maybe our man up's better now, things like that. But I'd say our fitness and our speed is probably our biggest strength.